Internal speculation on the whereabouts of Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa has just been laid to rest. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirms that Mr Rajapaksa has been allowed entry into Singapore on a private visit. The MFA says Mr Rajapaksa has not asked for asylum and neither has he been granted any asylum. Singapore, it adds, generally does not grant requests for asylum. Chloe Chu tells us more. There was much interest on his arrival with some 20 Sri Lankans while working in Singapore gathered at Changi Airport Terminal 3. They were here on international media speculation that he was due to arrive on a commercial flight accompanied by his wife and bodyguards. Many I spoke to say they were hoping to at least catch a glimpse of Mr Rajapaksa. They also wanted to show him that Sri Lankans all over the world are united and want to hold him responsible for the country's economic crisis. He's coming here as a transit. I'm not sure what's the plan, but I just want to come here to see instead of just staying at home. The Singapore Police Force, or SPF, says Mr Rajapaksa is on a social visit pass. SPF asks the public, Singaporeans, residents, work pass holders and social visitors alike to abide by local laws and says action will be taken against anyone participating in a public assembly that is illegal. The Sri Lankan president fled his country early on Wednesday, the very day he promised to step down but didn't. AFP says Mr Rajapaksa landed in Singapore on board a Saudi Airlines flight from the Maldives where he has been since leaving Colombo. The Associated Press, citing officials from the Maldives, says Mr Rajapaksa is heading for Saudi Arabia next. Thousands of protesters in Sri Lanka have blamed Mr Rajapaksa for dragging the country into its worst economic crisis since independence. I Meanwhile, well, the Maldives Speaker of Parliament said on Twitter Mr Rajapaksa has resigned. Reuters says Mr Rajapaksa emailed a letter of resignation to the Speaker of Sri Lanka's Parliament. The Speaker is to announce the resignation after the constitutionally mandated process is completed. Well, meanwhile, calm has returned to the streets of Colombo as protesters end their occupation of government buildings. That is to ensure that valuable art and artefacts in the buildings are preserved. Most protesters have left Mr Rajapaksa's official residence after occupying it for nearly a week. They wanted to remain there until he resigned. But with the embattled leader out of the country, protest organisers say remaining in that compound holds little symbolic value now. We are, we are not, not willing to take a power in the building. We just want to uh, kick out the Rajapaksa regime. All they already go down Rajapaksa have left the country. So he has no power in Sri Lanka. So we have gained our uh, power again. So that's why we are uh, leaving this building. That has not stopped acting President Ranil Wickremesinghe from reinstating a curfew in the country's western province until tomorrow morning. Troops are patrolling the streets. They have been authorised to use force to prevent destruction of property and life. Our tanks were also deployed near the parliament building to deter protesters from entering. Yesterday's clashes between demonstrators and security forces left one 26-year-old man dead and at least 85 people were sent to hospitals. The army says two soldiers were beaten unconscious with poles. Their rifles and ammunition were stolen.